Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, the Shortwave, and welcome back to another episode of You Learn Something Every Day. Um, now to start off, you might be wondering why I'm wearing this beautiful hat from, I believe, Texas, no, Death Valley. Um, and, you know what? That question can simply be answered by looking up into that corner of the screen, right direction, awesome. We're talking about 10 gallon hats today. Now, this isn't actually a 10 gallon hat at all, but this is um, sort of an image of a cowboy hat. The 10 gallon hats were those white ones that sort of curled up like this that are usually made of some kind of straw or something. Um, but we'll get to that. Now, 10 gallon hats are the sort of traditional cowboy hat along with this hat. Um, and I believe this is like probably called a two gallon or a five gallon hat. Um, but they're sort of this traditional um, symbol of cowboys, and they were really popularized by um, Hollywood and um, their old they westerns, and even spaghetti westerns. Them. But um, they're sort of this iconic image that represents the Wild West, and this is what all cowboys would wear. And it was sort of this like traditional image that you, would, the minute someone mentioned ten gallon hats, you would like visualize this cowboy wearing this magnificent hat on a horse backwards, holding two guns, shooting bandits, and riding off into the sunset. And you know what? That's what a lot of people still associate ten gallon hats with, because they really are and have become a symbol of the wild wild west in reality however and you know what that's what this show is all about spoiling reality um and your imagination in reality um cowboys did not wear 10 gallon hats and we're going to be talking about that today now the main reason why cowboys did not wear 10 gallon hats and let's go with this hat just wide brimmed hats in general is because they would often be riding horses now when you're riding horses you're going pretty fast a bit faster than walking speed and there's a lot of artificial wind in your face now wearing a wide brim hat can cause um a lot of problems as you can see i can tip my head back and this hat will fall off so if you were to actually try and wear a hat like this while riding on a horse really fast, it would fly off immediately, making it extremely impractical for cowboys to actually wear it. However, since I'm not actively riding a horse, I'm gonna put it on because it's a pretty awesome hat. The hat, however, is useful for blocking the sun, which is something that a lot of people would have wanted to have in um, sort of the American South and Central America. Um, or North Central America, I guess, whatever that's called. Um, the, okay, the America-Mexico border, um, which is where, okay, moving on. <laughs> Sorry, that was a weird tangent. Um, so, let's get to the name of 10 gallon hats, because we've already established that they were impractical to wear for real cowboys. Now, the name actually does not refer to the idea that the hat itself can hold 10 gallons in its sort of head hole, or whatever those parts of hats are called. I have a hat collection, I don't know, I don't know what those are called. Um, nor do 5 gallon, 2 gallon, half gallon hats, etc. refer to how many gallons they actually hold inside their head, because as you can imagine, just picture a milk jug. Okay, milk jug is right. It appears right here. We'll say a milk jug appeared right there. Um, as 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 you can imagine, milk jugs those are pretty large, and like a ten gallon hat is probably a bit smaller than milk, like a milk jug, which is a gallon of milk. Um, so obviously not ten gallons. That would be like ridiculously large. Although there was sort of this like myth and idea that like a 10 gallon hat could hold like 10, 10 gallons and cowboys would just carry along water in their 10 gallon hats. That's stupid because the hats were woven so it would just like fall through the hat and ruin it. So no, it does not refer in any way to the amount of air, water, or gas that can be held within the hat. However, it is, um, and there are two things we're gonna talk about, but it's both Spanish. Um, it could potentially be a reference, and is commonly thought to be a reference, to the word, and I don't speak Spanish, so I'm gonna butcher this, just like I did the French and the Dutch in the last episode, or maybe this episode comes out before that and I'm talking about the future, um, is a reference to the word galón. Um, which sounds a lot like gallon, and galón in Spanish is what um, Mexican waqueros, and that's also probably brutal, um, brutally massacred, um, would call their headbands and head sort of like hats that they wore. Um, and um, waqueru is actually um, important to cowboys, um, and the word buckaroo that later came along. Um, so it's often theorized that this Hollywood image, um, and generally the word buckaroo was actually derived from the Mexican word waquero, which was, those were Mexican cowboys who would sort of be like the Lone Ranger type herding the long cattle and all that great stuff from the Wild Wild West. The Lone Ranger! 
Um, so yeah, origin of the word buckaroo. So you'll learn two things today, but moving on. So the uh, Mexican vaqueros would wear these headbands. Um, that was a weird headband gesture. They would wear these headbands, um, which they called galones, and um, the 10 gallon hat was theorized to actually be 10 gallons as a reference to how many Mexican hats or headbands the 10 gallon hat could hold. They could hold 10 of them, obviously, and subsequently smaller hats could hold so many. That's kind of a silly idea, but that's actually one of the most commonly um, thought origins of the word. Excuse me. The second option um, is also from Spanish, um, but it's from a phrase. The phrase is tan galan, and that's also brutally massacred. I don't speak Spanish. I probably should. Um, and that um, was sort of that phrase translates roughly to like handsome or very handsome or extremely ga gallant, one of the above. Probably extremely gallant sounds like okay. Sounds sounds like they could be somewhere. So it's something along those lines, but basically it means like gallant, handsome, sort of like strong bold imagery um and it's thought that um cowboys um uh, when they came in contact with a lot of uh mexican vaqueros or other b bandits banditos i guess um they would hear these this phrase um and the the phrase was used to describe the cowboys who wore these hats um who looked extremely magnificent or handsome and the the, the tan galan or whatever it is um got moved over in English to a sort of exactly what I'm doing, but like a phonetic m massacre of the word into 10 gallon um, as a reference to the hat. So it was sort of like um, the hat became the word, the phrase that was extremely handsome, just like the cowboys who wore it. Um, so those are your two choices for the origin of this word. Either um, it is a reference to headbands that Waqueros wore, or it's a reference to um, just a Spanish phrase. They're both Spanish, though, and they're both extremely likely. It's possible that both of these actually happen and sort of combine, mesh together into the word ten gallon. Who knows? Um, thanks so much for dropping by on this episode of You Learn Something Every Day. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my hat. Um, we're gonna have some really crazy episodes coming up, or maybe one really crazy episode coming up, I think, that might spoilers involve a ghost pepper. Uh, we'll see. I don't know uh, when that will be released in relation to anything else. But um, stick around for more. Um, you can always subscribe to get updates. Um, but thanks so much for dropping by. If you ever have an idea that you want me to talk about, I can be your personal Google. Just leave a comment below in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever that may be. Uh, live long and peace out. Bye!